Jason to me is has been, is a very caring person. I remember the first time I ever met him by the look in his eyes. I just the first thing that I saw was those eyes. Um, and I melted into him. Ah uh, yes, the elephant in the room is I'm a transsexual. But it's okay, you're gonna love me by the time you leave. We are that couple living right next to you who are at home playing with our cat named Buck Meow and watching Wendy Williams and, you know, making dinner together and, you know, and having <laughs> that, that normal, that normal, like, life together. I knew, I knew I liked her a long time ago when I first met her and, you know, I just kind of took it slow and easy and, you know, we dated on and off and then I ain't gonna take nothing back. I mean, I figure I found the love of my life and, you know, I want to marry her and, you know, hold my arms. What kind of food do you want for the wedding? I need to talk to Naisha about that anyway. Talk to Street tacos? Street tacos? Like, like pork carnita tacos. And then the wedding cake, Naisha wants us to go over this weekend and she wants for us to pick out what we want in the wedding cake to be. Okay. That's what are you fun. thinking? Thinking that's fun. Okay, my gown is, it's a mermaid style gown. Um, it's very dramatic. It's um, got a lot of tulle and it's laser cut all along the bottom. It's, um, it, it's got just the right amount of bling on it. I didn't want to be like over the top. I didn't want to look like the typical, you know, cha-cha-cha like kind of, you know what I mean? Like tranny that loves all the sparkle. So not anything against the other trannies that like their sparkle, but I like a simple classic look. I was going to do a forest wedding and you know what I mean, and we were going to do it at this place out in Silver City called the Holy Cross Retreat. Beautiful, beautiful area, tall pine trees, but then when he heard that I was going to allow him to, to have his say in the wedding to that extent, then he decided to go online and he found himself this tuxedo that's camouflage, but the ducks, it's all ducks in the, in the tuxedo. He was thrilled. And then he thought that it, everybody else would side with him. So he got on Facebook and, you know, posted it to all of our friends, like, what does everybody think of this tuxedo? With the exception of maybe a couple of people that, you know, live under a rock and get internet, apparently. Um, every gay man that I knew was like, no, Jason. Oh my God, Jason. Please don't, Jason. How about I just take you and buy you a suit, Jason? When I spoke with the minister and she had mentioned to me that I was the first, the first person to actually, for the first transgender bride, per se, to like get married publicly, if I was to do it publicly in the state of New Mexico, how would I feel about that? And um, I had a little bit of, I needed a little bit of time to kind of think things over. Um, I needed to talk to him about it and see how he felt about be making it public. I was nervous at first, you know, like, uh, you know, because I mean, I'm barely new to this and so, I mean, it. At first, total nervous sits in, you know, and now I'm just like, you know, we, we can do it, it's fine, you know, I can handle it, you know, it's not that big of a deal, you know, well, to her it is. When we had decided to make this public, I was watching the talk, and I remember listening, and it, it actually hurt me to hear um, a person that had just, that was transgender, who had just killed themselves. Um, I want for them to know that they're normal and that they can be a part of society and that they're special and that they don't need to take their lives and they don't need to do drugs and they don't need to sell their bodies in order to make other people happy or to survive. I'm here to tell you that you're normal, that you're okay, that your thoughts and who you are as a person doesn't make who you are because other people say you are that way. You're not bad. You're not a horrible person. And it's okay to be yourself.